Now you have a beard. Can we shave your beard? No. Chase loves life, and Chase, um, he, he loves whatever comes his way. At age 15, a lot has come Chase Fulmer's way. Plenty of friends at Woods Cross High School. He's in the Woods School Choir. He helps out with the basketball team. A date with the head cheerleader. Oh, this kid is so popular. And genuine love from everyone who knows him. Oh. What you say? He's like a sunbeam just shining brightly in the sky for you. A few days before Christmas, that bright sunbeam. He was barely breathing, but his spirit wasn't there. Went dim. His bright eyes weren't there, and, and that was hard to take. What appeared to be a simple cold that kept Chase home from school one day quickly turned serious when Jared and Heidi went to wake him up. He wouldn't blink, he wouldn't, um, any facial expressions. And he was burning up. He was around 107 when we found him, and he sounded like he's breathing through water. EMTs rushed him to the nearest hospital, and within hours, Chase needed to be flown to Primary Children's. His only chance for survival being put on ECMO, a heart and lung bypass machine. The ECMO machine is in Denver and it's in California, it's in Salt Lake. And so we feel very fortunate and blessed to be so close to Primary Children's Hospital. Jared says that first week was touch and go. Chase's lungs collapsed, he suffered kidney failure, and he lost all of his strength. Tests confirmed it all stemmed from the H1N1 virus. We didn't do the flu shots. Um, no, we hadn't, and we should have. <laughs> through all the complications, Chase has muscled through. After more than two months in the hospital for recovery and rehab, Chase's mental and physical strength. Ready, one, two, three. Ah. Ah. You are so strong. He's almost back. Through this experience with Chase, the lesson that Heidi and I have learned has come through our faith. And, and we have no doubt that Chase is a miracle. Right now, the most excited I get is when he looks over at me and he just kisses. He wants to give his mom a kiss. <laughs> so, thank you. It was devastating, and it has been devastating to go through this, but my child's alive, and I am very grateful for that. We have no doubt that Chase is alive because of because he's brought you to Primary Children's.